Okay, so I, I couldn't resist the, uh, the uh, urge to tell you, uh, told you, uh, after someone uh, teased me from the uh, organizers, I won't tell you who. So we all got this uh, very lovely uh, surprise back uh, in the middle of our uh, summer holidays, uh, back in August, you all remember this one, HashiCorp uh, announcing relicensing Terraform from open source MPL to a non-open source uh, business source license, uh, yay! And uh, also, obviously, not just Terraform, it also happened to the rest of its uh, lovely uh, projects, Vault, Console, Nomad, and, and so on. And uh, who of you did it uh, catch off guard with a show of hands? Okay, so uh, it shouldn't have, because actually, last year, on this very stage, thanks for whoever took this tweet uh, back in the day, I was here actually telling all of you the case study of Elasticsearch going from open source to SSPL, non-open source source available. Sounds familiar? So we talked back then about the rage, we talked about uh, the response, fork it, and we talked about uh, the risks of vendor-owned open source. So we've been through that, and by the way, you have a QR code about the uh, open source uh, risks. Okay, so you're a wise guy, you told us, we understand that open source uh, can turn to the dark side, but what can we learn out of that? And the first thing I want you to take out of this talk, if there's only one thing you take, is remember that open source is more than a license. First of all, we saw that license can change under our feet, and it can happen also to very veteran, successful projects over a decade old, okay, there's no guarantee in that. And also, remember that it can turn to the dark side in many ways, okay? It can go non-open source, it can also go copyleft, it can also change terms of service, like it happened with uh, a Terraform registry, and many other forms, okay? Uh, many other forms there are. So, how can we protect ourselves? And that's the most important thing. So, I'm going to share with you very quickly three tips for selecting open source wisely, two tips for... Uh, using open source wisely and one for building it, okay? So let's go and start with using open source wisely. And first one, first one is ask yourselves which license. Remember that not all of the OSI licenses are born equal, there's copyleft and other semantics, and also very importantly, source available is not open source, okay? Remember that one? Very useful new resource that the OSI released is a database uh, for all the licenses, so if you're not sure, go opensource.org slash licenses, very useful resource. Next tip about selecting open source wisely. Ask yourselves also who's behind the project. Is that a single vendor? We saw it can pull the bait and switch stunt on you. Uh, also they avoid the single uh, maintainer thing even if it's not a vendor, it's a single point of failure. And in general, remember that uh, foundational open source uh, is a good path. I know I'm a CNCF ambassador, so I'm biased, but Cloud Native Computing Foundation, Linux Foundation, Apache Foundation, all of these provide a vendor neutral ground, they provide oversight, they provide governance. Very uh, good uh, setup. Talking about governance, ask what's the governance policy of the project you're looking into, okay? Um, how, ca how can they determine that no single entity grabs control? How can you turn into co uh, committers, to maintainers? How can you be promoted? How can someone change license? Who can change the licenses? Let's talk about using open source wisely. First of all, manage your third party licensing exposure, just like you do with security exposures, okay? Apache con uh, license containing GPL or things like that. That's one. Second tip for using, take care with automation. We all have automation in this conference, but beware of auto-updating your dependencies without safeguards without uh, license compliance checks, okay? S-bombs, maintain S-bombs, that's a very good uh, tip on this one. Now, one tip about building open source wisely, remember, open source is not a business model, okay? Make sure that you have sustainable business model around your company, otherwise you'll find yourself in this contentious uh, situation. And I talked extensively about that in the uh, article about uh, the vendor-owned open source, so check it out on the, uh, the right-hand side, and on the left-hand side you can find actually the uh, cheat sheet with a checklist about the bullets I said, some additional bullets, so a very good checklist to go over. I haven't had the time to deep dive into the Open Tofu and Terraform and all of that, but here's a link to uh, my podcast, Open Observability Talks. I dived into all this episode with one of the creators of, uh, of the Open Tofu project. 
very interesting discussion and we have the discussion also after lunch uh, with Sebastian so check it out you can find me everywhere at Horowitz as you can see so I'm Dotan Horowitz thank you very much and may the open source be with you Thank you, Dr.